a warm welcome children today we are going to see about addition and subtraction and now let's enter into our classroom today we are going to learn about addition with regrouping subtraction with regrouping and subtraction with zeros let's recollect some of the rules followed in addition and subtraction rules of addition when you change the order of the number being added the sum does not change the answer in addition is called its sum that is when you add 3 plus 8 or 8 plus 3 your answer will be the same and the sum of any number and zero is that the same number example 3 when added to 0 the answer will be 3 rules of subtraction any number subtracted from itself is 0 the answer in subtraction is called its difference example 5 when subtracted with 5 your answer will be 0 when you subtract 0 from any number you will get the number itself example 6 when subtracted with 0 your answer will be 6 addition with regrouping children what do you mean by regrouping already in your lower classes you would have learned about regrouping yes whenever you add two numbers and if you get a carryover the regrouping takes place here you're going to learn about add and check you're going to add 23,512 with 28,975 you are going to follow the same procedure of adding that is starting with the ones place and moves towards the left. And we find the answer is 52,487. With this answer, you are going to check your answer. That is, you will be placing the numbers and then by adding up, that is from down to up, we will find the answer will be the same. Word problem. Sita has 543 stamps and her uncle gave her his collection of 264 stamps. How many stamps does she have now? So, number of stamps Sita had is 543. Number of stamps uncle gave to Sita is 264. When we add both this, you will get the total number of stamps Sita had now. That is... 543 plus 264 gives you 807 stamps. Subtraction with regrouping. What do you mean by regrouping? When you subtract two numbers and if you need to borrow, the regrouping takes place. Here, you are going to learn about subtract and check. You are going to subtract 21,840 with 18,395. By subtracting, you are getting an answer 3445. With this, you are going to check your answer. You are going to check your answer by adding. First step, you are going to place the difference on the top followed by the subprehend. And then while adding, you will get the minor end. This is the procedure for checking your answer. Subtracting with zeros, you are going to subtract 3000 with 1327. As we couldn't subtract 0 and 7, 0 and 2, 0 and 3, as per the step 1, not enough ones, tens or hundreds, we need to regroup the thousands place. Here, 3 gives 1 to the hundreds place, so it becomes 2. Step 2, regrouping the hundreds. 10 gives 1 to the tens place and so it becomes 9. Step 3. Regroup the tens. 10 again gives 1 to the ones place so it becomes 9. And then finally by subtracting you will get the answer 1673. Now we are going to see a short recap of the concepts we have learned today. The answer in addition is called sum. The answer in subtraction is called difference the sum of any number and zero is that the same number when we subtract zero from a number we get the number itself thank you my dear children let's all meet in the next class